Yo, boys and girls. So, I get a lot of comments on my videos, but the comments that I keep seeing the most are comments like, hey, how can I stop lag and get more FPS in Roblox? So, essentially, in this video, I'm just going to go over some of the stuff that you can do to get a guaranteed FPS boost. So just before I go on to that, I just want to say that I am incredibly close to 10,000 subscribers and my goal is to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of July. If we hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of July, I might do a giveaway or something on my channel. So stay tuned for that. So the first thing you'll notice when playing Roblox is you'll only get up to 60 FPS no matter how good your computer is. Now this is called an FPS cap and there are actually ways to remove it. So there's a program that you can install called roblox fps unlocker and it's quite a small file it doesn't take much to download and essentially what it does is it removes the 60 fps cap from your game so you can get a lot of fps when playing roblox so i'll leave a link to download that in the description of this video it doesn't take up any cpu usage it just takes up a little bit of memory from your computer and even if you have the worst computer in the world, you'll barely notice a difference other than you'll have more FPS, obviously. So when I launch the program, instantly I can already see my FPS has skyrocketed to like two, 300 FPS. Now this is already really good and I don't really need to change much. Just a small disclaimer, everyone's computer is different and I'm fortunate enough to have a really good computer. So I don't really have to worry about getting too much FPS. If your computer isn't as good as mine and you're looking to get more FPS, these steps will still be useful. So the first thing you want to do to get more frames is just hit escape, go to settings, and by default, it should look a little bit something like this. Now you can head over to graphics mode and you can switch this to automatic. And if you find that automatic isn't doing anything for you, you can hit over to manual and just decrease the settings right to the bottom as you can see that the quality of my game has decreased now as you can see it has made a definite boost in my fps as you can see i'm getting now 300 consistent frames within ease so if you play a game like Arsenal, there's a pretty good chance that they have some in-game settings that you can turn on and off to increase your FPS. So if you go to the Arsenal menu and you go over to the settings option and go to graphics, you can actually see that there is a lot of stuff to turn off here. So obviously we don't want kill effects, we don't want ragdolls, we don't want shadows, we obviously don't want particle physics, and we don't want viewport characters. Now if I jump back into the game here, as you can see, my FPS has gone up by another 100 just by turning off all of those settings. Now just by doing those two things, as you can see my fps has pretty much doubled i pretty much doubled my frame rate and i don't even need any of this fps because 240 fps is just plenty but obviously if you guys don't have a very good computer you can start to find that your frame rate will actually begin to be a little bit more sustainable so the next thing that we could do to boost our frame rate is actually exit Roblox completely. And we're going to head over to the desktop. So as you can see on my third monitor, I have just a blank background and I just have the Roblox player application in the middle of my screen. So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to remove all of the textures from Roblox so our computer doesn't have to render them. So essentially what you want to do is you want to hit right click and you want to go to fi open file location. It should be the second option just here. Then file explorer should open and you want to hit platform content. And then you also want to hit PC, which should be the only file in that folder. And then you'll see three different folders. You'll see fonts, terrain, and textures. Now you just want to drag textures to your desktop so they're removed from the folder. And as you can see, going back into Arsenal now, you can see that the textures are gone and my frame rate has now increased by another 50-ish FPS. I'm actually creeping close to 500 FPS. Just keep in mind that I'm also recording this video at 1440p 60 FPS. So that's that's a lot of computer power and I'm still pulling this much frames. But obviously now I'm starting to get like close to 500 FPS. If I just start walking around, it might dip up and down. Some of this stuff might actually really help you guys and we're not even halfway through the video yet. So the next thing that you can do is actually just decrease the quality of your screen or just change the resolution. So if we go back to our desktop over here, you can see that we're now in display settings. Essentially, you just want to type in display settings and then this should come up. And as you can see, we have display resolution right here. Now we can change this to pretty much whatever you want. This monitor that I'm using is a 1920 by 1080 monitor. And if we really wanted to, we can punch this down to the lowest resolution so we can get as much frames as possible. Now, obviously I don't want to do that. 
but if I really, really, really wanted to, I could just go and decrease the resolution and let's see how much FPS I get. Now for you guys, my screen is actually really, really tiny, but for me, it's all zoomed in and pixelated. Now, I don't think this is actually increasing my FPS because my FPS is already really high. I don't think it's going to make much of a difference if I change it. So I'm just going to switch back to my normal resolution. But for you guys, it should increase your FPS. Now, the next thing that you can do actually requires a NVIDIA graphics card. If you don't know what a NVIDIA graphics card is, it's pretty much a brand of graphics card. So going back to display settings, you essentially just want to right click anywhere on your desktop and open the video control panel. If you don't have the video control panel, then you don't have a NVIDIA graphics card. So now once you have this open, you just want to click adjust image settings for preview. And then obviously you'll see this little spinning guy here. And now what you can do is you can click the third option and then use the slider to increase or decrease the quality of your screen. And then once you're finished messing around with this, you can just hit apply and it'll freeze for a second and, and then when you see it spinning you can just close it now i've already done this which is why you don't see much of a difference but there is a couple more things you could do to increase your fps which requires us going back into display settings going back into display settings we can then scroll all the way down until we see graphic settings you also want to have this option here hardware accelerated gpu scheduling so you want to have this on and then you also want to browse your files and then open roblox and add this here and then you can left click on this and go options and then you want to go to graphics pre preference and then go to high performance but essentially what this will do is this will tell your computer to run roblox off of your graphics card now i have a nvidia geforce rtx 3080 so my graphics card is running roblox so now once i've hit this option it'll tell roblox to run with my graphics card and then you just want to hit save and then you can exit out of that now the very last thing that you can do to increase performance is you want to open up settings again and typing in windows game mode or just game mode now you want to make sure that this is on i'm not actually sure what this does but the little brief description it gives us it just says that windows optimizes your pc to play game just because windows is telling you that hey we'll make your computer run faster if you have this graphics thing on so yeah i'll take their advice and i'll keep this on so yeah after all that i went from getting around 60 fps to now 420 fps or as an average we'll just round it up we'll just round it up to 420 fps for the sake of this video so yeah if this video helped you out in any way shape or form drop a like and subscribe and let me know in the comments if you're having any difficulties following the steps i can always guide you in the comment section below i'm gonna post some more content pretty soon so stick around for that anyways i'll see you guys later see you guys